let's uh, let's jump off of that one. Let's move into the next topic, and this is a good one. Ha- have you seen this yet about Jay Cutler? Yeah. Okay. So let let me kind of go through the story really quickly. Jay Cutler was in full tactical gear Thursday night as he sat watching a tree stand, waiting to confront a chicken serial killer that has been tormenting his Tennessee farm. Wearing a helmet with some sort of night vision binoculars, the former Bears quarterback sat in a tree with his neighbor waiting for a chicken serial killer that never showed up. Uh, Jay's big play Thursday night was to depend on his rooster, Blue, to be on security detail, presumably in case Jay couldn't get out of the tree fast enough to defend his property. Sometimes you have to fight crazy with crazy. Old Blue has that look in his eyes. New sheriff in town, predators beware, Jay wrote on Instagram. Jay continued his praise of the rooster, later Thursday night as he waited for the chicken serial killer. Quote, first of all, the little guy is all heart and I love him. Coolest rooster in the game by far. Old Blue terrifies me. Pretty sure he wants to fight me. He keeps staring at me with those crazy eyes and flapping his wings. Whatever comes in the chicken yard tonight better buckle up. Old Blue ain't playing. He's trying to fight humans. This is exactly what I needed from Jay Cutler. So, this is a Jay Cutler we kind of all wish we could have gotten while he was playing. Yes. And I'll tell you this. Remember when there were talks of him getting a a, a color commentary job? Yes. And a lot of people were like, why? He's really boring. Maybe he's not. Maybe there's a lot more to Jay than we ever saw or thought. That's kind of what I'm thinking here. I mean, he is... At this Instagram... If you're not following his Instagram, uh, it is... If Jay had Instagram, is his Instagram handle, and he is fantastic on this thing. Yes, if he decides to get into the color commentary game, I, I think it's going to be a home run wherever he goes. Yeah, I this, think I think he's a lot more. I, I originally thought it was very strange that team like uh, networks were talking to him, and now I'm seeing a side of him. I'm sure that during in the interviews and stuff, they they saw these things that he just didn't let out and, and while playing. Um, and, uh, which is why they were considering him. So you, you want me to break down this, uh, this, this chicken killer thing? Yes. Because I, I would I love know, for you to do that. <laughs> so I got family, family, uh, that, that are, that are chicken, chicken folk. Well, okay? we're from Mississippi. So you would think we would yeah, know about well, this. And, and my family in Ohio too. They, they've got chickens as well. There you go. Okay. Listen, all right. Sitting in the, in the deer stand, the tree stand, might not help you a lot. Two of the biggest killers of chickens aren't now two big ones in his world, especially in the Nashville area, coyotes, bobcats. Um, yeah, those are real. And those are things that from a tree stand you would be able to see and catch. Uh, two big ones that are going to know you're there and not come are hawks and owls. Owls are some of the most vicious killers in society. If they were bigger they would take over the world. Okay. They're ruthless. They are owls. Well, owls. And they are strong and they will they will swoop down. They will grab a chicken. They will haul it off and they will eat that thing. Hawks, there are certain types of hawks that'll do the same thing. <laughs> and those things that no Jay is in that tree. And they ain't coming because Jay is there. And then the one other thing that I wonder how well he would be able to see would be snakes. Because that's an, yeah, that's an interesting because because a snake, I have no idea how it's getting in and can he see it. He's hunting and standing out looking for basically bobcats or or, or uh, coyotes, coyotes or yeah. fox or something like that. But there there are three other things that are absolutely get your chickens that you they're not coming around if you're there or I don't know how well you'd be able to see them. <laughs> that's. Uh, Matt jumped in and said that damn Sasquatch. Uh, the, uh, Sasquatch ain't, ain't eating no chickens. No, That's I too think small he's, for him. Yeah, he's going with something bigger. Uh, That's right. I am kind of curious, big, though, big about the owl thing. I, I did not. Have like, you not known that? Oh, no. No, Look I knew, that, owls. I knew owls that they handled vicious. rodents and, no, and snakes. No, vicious. I didn't know that they would eat chickens. Like, Hell that's kind of, yeah, that's bird on bird crime. No, it don't matter. It's food on food. It's top of the food chain. I get, would, would that would that be considered cannibalism? No, I don't think so. I don't guess they, I, I guess they're different enough, but I mean it's both both birds, I guess, right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, they're both birds. Listen, they don't care. Owls are vicious, owls, huh? Owls are pretty vicious. I that I have learned a lot about new animals like how 
there were a couple of animals I didn't think much of. Praying mantis and owls, if they were bigger, would take over the world. Oh, Matt jumps in and said owls will pick off small dogs. Small, oh, hell yeah, they'll pick off small dogs and cats. No, that, no, those things are, they are tough. And they hunt at night. <laughs> they, oh, are, the, they are not friendly, sweet, cuddly owls that you think of. Oh, yeah, that's, I mean, my, we, my son's got stuffed owls, all, all sorts of stuff. That's like, right. Oh, things. no, sign of wisdom. And, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, and they have that, maybe. Sure, okay. They're really, really smart birds. There's an owl in, in Winnie the Pooh, and that dude don't do nothing. No, that is that, that is a that is a they'd be a lying. Very gross interpretation of what an owl is because uh, they they're vicious, man. I can understand they're it. Okay. Long and they are smart. They are smarter than you and me. They are smart. I can believe that they can turn their Damn heads. Sure smarter than around. those chickens. Uh, his Dave, rooster, his rooster wouldn't stand a chance. That's a, he, he needs to set up some security cameras. Like that's what it yeah, that would be the funnest thing is set up set up cameras to where you can watch it because then you'll at least know. I have no idea if it's a snake and the snake gets into the coop, then you're not no cameras catching that. But nah, that's a good point. Uh, Damian Estrada jumps in on YouTube. He said, "So you mean to tell me Jay Cutler can prepare himself to fight a chicken, but can't gear the hell up to take us to the Super Bowl?" WTF? <laughs> I Come think on, he man. might be. He might be a little more prepared. Keller was the for best this. quarterback Chicago's had in my lifetime. Yeah, now you're right. Yeah, I think I think you're 100 percent right. I mean, it, it's been a long time since the Bears have had. I a, mean, a good man, you know, I was little. I guess that was considered my lifetime. But I, I wonder if Jay Cutler had the had had that Bears team. How you know could he have done more with it? Just because the game evolved so much, quarterbacks did so little back then. That's true. That is true. I mean, who knows? Who? So while knows? he's disappointing to you, he's still the best you maybe ever had in your lifetime. That's. Uh, I think you're right. I think you're right. All right. Let's-